Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we've got some exciting news. Cache OS just dropped their May 2025 ISO snapshot and is packed with cool improvements especially for gamers and folks still rocking older Nvidia graphics cards. In this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about this latest release. So even if you're new to Linux or just curious about trying out Cache OS, stick around. You might discover your next favorite distro. So let's get started. Now, before we dive into the new updates, let's quickly talk about what Cache OS actually is, for those who might not know. Cache OS is a Linux distribution or distro based on Arch Linux. Think of it like a custom version of Linux that's designed to be faster, optimized for gaming and beginner friendly. It comes with a beautiful desktop environment, great performance tweaks and tools that make setting up a gaming system easier than ever. Cache OS is known for shipping cutting edge software while still being surprisingly stable. It's a great choice if you want to stay on the bleeding edge of Linux gaming without having to configure everything manually like you would with Vanilla Arch. Alright, now that we know what Cache OS is, let's dive into what's new in the May 2025 ISO snapshot. First up, they've added a brand new boot splash animation. For those new to Linux, a boot splash is basically the little animation or logo you see on the screen when your computer is starting up. It replaces the plain text that usually scrolls by and makes your system feels a bit more polished. It's not a major feature that affects performance or usability, but it's one of those small touches that make Cache OS feel more modern and professional. This latest release is still built on the Linux 6.14 kernel series. In simple terms, the Linux kernel is like the heart of your operating system. It controls how your hardware talks to your software. The newer the kernel, the better the support for new devices, performance improvements and security fixes. 6.14 is a very recent kernel, meaning it comes with improved support for newer hardware and better performance overall, which is great for gamers and content creators. The May 2025 snapshot also ships with the latest version of the KDE Plasma Desktop Environment, version 6.3.5. For those who don't know, KDE Plasma is the part of your Linux system you actually see and interact with, your desktop, your taskbar, your star menu, your windows. Plasma is known for being super customizable, lightweight and beautiful. Alongside that, they've also updated to the newest KDE Gear 25.04.1 and KDE Frameworks 6.14. These are essentially the applications and libraries that make Plasma and its apps run smoothly. And everything's built using Qt 6.9, which is a modern framework for building fast and smooth applications on Linux. Now, here's one of the biggest highlights of this update. Improved support for older NVIDIA graphics cards. If you're someone who's still using an older GPU like the NVIDIA GTX 10 series or earlier, you know it can be tricky to get the right drivers working smoothly on Linux. Well, with this May 2025 snapshot, Cache OS will now automatically detect and load the correct NVIDIA drivers module when you boot from the live ISO. What does that mean for you? Well, it means no more headaches trying to install or guess which driver you need just to get into the desktop or install the OS. The system will handle it for you during the boot process. This is a huge win for users with older NVIDIA cards. Next up, let's talk about gaming improvements. Cache OS includes its own tweaked version of Proton called Proton Cache OS and in this snapshot it's been updated based on the upcoming Proton 10 release. For those who might not be familiar, Proton is a compatibility tool developed by Valve. It allows you to play Windows only games on Linux through Steam. Proton translates Windows games instructions into Linux friendly code and Proton Cache OS adds extra tweaks for even better performance. And here is what's new in this update. Wayland support for SLR, short for Steam Linux Runtime, which improves compatibility on newer display systems. Wine Wayland fixes for better performance in games run outside of Steam. FSR4 upgrade support. If you haven't heard of FSR, it stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution, a technology by AMD that boosts game performance by rendering at a lower resolution and upscaling the image. FSR4 is the newest version and should improve both visuals and performance. Haptic support for DualSense controllers. Yes, if you're using a PS5 controller, you'll now get haptic feedback in supported games. On top of that, Mesa Git, the graphics driver package, now has patches to improve FSR4 performance on RDNA 4 GPUs. If you've got one of those newer AMD cards, you're in for a treat. 
Moving on, another change worth mentioning is that Cache browser has been removed. This was a custom web browser based on Chromium, but in this update the team has officially switched over to Firefox as the default browser. Why? Well, maintaining a custom browser is a lot of work, and Firefox is a solid privacy-friendly browser with a great Linux support out of the box. It's a smart move that simplifies things for both users and developers. Also, the Discover taskbar entry has been removed. If you don't know what Discovery is, it's the KDE Plasma App Store where you can install and update software graphically. It's still available, but they've decided to clean up the taskbar and remove its icon by default. This declutters the system tray a bit, giving you a cleaner look when you first boot up. Now, if you're a handheld gaming PC owner, like a Steam Deck, Rogue Ally or MSI Claw, you'll appreciate these next updates. The CashUS Handheld Edition has received several improvements. Game mode now correctly detects your operating system. Updated convolor profiles, which are basically audio tweaks for better sound. Power button D has been replaced with Steam Power button D for smoother suspend and wake from sleep performance. And they've integrated a new tool called Steam OS Manager, which replaces the old AHD utility. Right now, this is being rolled out first for the MSI Claw, but support for the Steam Deck and Rogue Ally is coming next. Another small but important fix, they've updated DDC Util to the latest release candidate version. If you've ever controlled your monitor brightness or control settings through software, you've probably used DDC Util. This update fixes some annoying crashes when using it alongside the KDE Plasma desktop, making it more reliable. And there you have it, those are all the major highlights in the Cache OS May 2025 ISO snapshot. To quickly recap, new boot splash animation, Linux kernel 6.14, KDE Plasma 6.3.5 and updated KDE apps, better support for older NVIDIA cards, updated Proton Cache OS with gaming features like FSR4 support and haptics for DualSense, switched from Cache browser to Firefox, cleaned up taskbar by removing discover icon big improvements for handheld gaming PCs, and a bunch of other under the hood fixes and tweaks. If you've been thinking about trying out Linux for gaming, or if you've already a Linux user looking for a performance focused distro, Cache OS is absolutely worth a look. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux content, gaming guides and distro reviews. Have you tried Cache OS before? Planning to install this new snapshot? Drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.